In a study I did of 100 entry-level actuarial jobs, I found that over 50% of employers would prefer a candidate that has some related experience. So that's where stepping stone positions come in. Basically, a stepping stone position is a job that's going to allow you to enhance your skills and knowledge in a specific area that is going to help you later get an actuarial job. It really gives you the knowledge and skills that actuarial employers are looking for. Many future actuaries have asked me, what are some examples of stepping stone stone positions. So in this video, I'm going to share two stepping stone positions that I had that helped me get my actuarial internships and also my actuarial job. By the way, I'm Bria, associate of the Society of Actuaries and founder of the Actuary Accelerator community, which is open right now, by the way, where we train future actuaries how to become top candidates so that they can get their actuarial dream job as quickly as possible. So let's get into this video. Three, two, one. Okay, so I really had two main positions that I would consider stepping stone positions for my actuarial job. The first one was one that I started probably about 20 years ago, actually, and I was doing it for many years before I even got my actuarial job. But this was being a bookkeeper and admin for my dad's welding business. So he's had this business probably for about, I guess it would be 20 years. I was doing this from the very beginning when he started this business. And basically my job was to do all the bookkeeping and all the administration work for the company. Now, this was only a part-time job. I was working maybe two to three hours per week, and actually I still do this job, so I'm still working about two to three hours per week. And I would say this was a really, really great position because not only was I getting a lot of exposure to different things that later would come valuable in my actuarial job, but I was also really learning how to communicate through email, on the telephone, all those kinds of things. When I first started in this position, it actually made me really nervous to talk on the phone to someone, and I would say, that this position in particular was one that really helped me get over that fear of just talking on the phone and communicating with other people that I didn't know. So in this position, like I said, I was responsible for the bookkeeping and the admin. So that means that I would be responsible for creating all the invoices that need to be made for clients for the work that was done. I was responsible for getting all the bills and paying them on time through our banking. I was responsible for everything that involved the bank accounts and all that sort of stuff. I was responsible for making sure that the bank accounts reconciled with our bookkeeping records. I was responsible for calculating our taxes and making sure those get paid on time and also really just responsible for keeping our books up to date, doing all the appropriate journal entries to make sure that they're always up to date. So my first actuarial job was actually in valuation or calculating reserves and if you're not familiar with what that is I will put a video right here and link down below in the description to describe a bit more what an actuarial reserve is but that was really my first job and this position in particular really helped a lot with that in many different ways so first is that I got a lot of exposure to income statements and balance sheets so someone working in bookkeeping or accounting is going to be really familiar with how to read a balance sheet or an income statement and that later became really helpful when I went to my actuarial valuation job because I found that a lot of the time I was referring to those income statements and balance sheets in my actuarial job because I needed to understand how different parts of the company worked in order to understand how the reserves were moving and why they were going up or down or staying the same month to month. In this position, I also got a lot of experience with data input, which ended up being really useful in my actuarial jobs. In any actuarial job, you're probably using a lot of data. So being familiar with data input and just having that experience is something that is beneficial to be able to talk about during your actuarial interviews and potentially on the job as well. One of the biggest parts that I got out of this position was my ability to really use Excel. Prior to working in this bookkeeping role, I knew how to use Excel, but I would say I took it to another level in this position. And as you may know, Microsoft Excel and knowing how to program in some sort of programming language is so, so, so important for any actuarial job. Um, I've talked about that many times on this channel, so I will, again, link down below any helpful videos that might go further into detail on that. But this is something that you really, really, really want to be familiar with when you go into an actuarial role and in my bookkeeping position oh there's my cat <laughs> in this bookkeeping position I was really able to learn Excel and all the capabilities it had I was able to kind of use it for good I was able to do projects I would say so one thing that I did was I took this kind of plain invoice template that we had and I took it to another level by creating some VBA programming or VBA code in order to automate a lot 
lot of the backend tasks that would go on in this invoicing tool. So that allowed us to get invoices done faster. It allowed me to really reduce errors. There were times before I created this code where I was sending invoices to the wrong clients and that's just not good business. It's not what you want to be doing. So this VBA code really reduced errors and helped speed things up. And that was something that was great to add to my resume for actuarial positions because it really proved that I knew how to use Microsoft Excel and how to program. Again, if you've watched other videos on this channel, you may already know how important it is to know Microsoft Excel and to do real projects. So this is something in our Actuary Accelerator community we really focus on for our members because it's so important that you have real projects that you've done in the past and that you can add to your resume. That's going to really help you stand out to actuarial employers and I think it was a big part of me being able to get actuarial internships and eventually my actuarial job. And by the way, actually the AAC, the Actuary Accelerator community is open right now until Thursday. So it's only open for four days every three months. It opens once per quarter for four days only. And right now, while you are watching this video, if you are watching it when it is released or the week of January the 16th, then you may be able to get into the Actuary Accelerator community so that you can access some of these projects that you can eventually add to your resume. Okay, now let's get into my second stepping stone position. Now this one was as an asset database manager. Now this position was actually an internship and that's something I really want to address because a lot of people come to me and ask if they need an actuarial internship in order for it to be beneficial. But the truth is that there are so many internships out there that could be extremely valuable in getting an actuarial job in the future. So I did have actuarial internships, but I found that this internship in particular was really helpful in being able to get actuarial internships down the road. So in this position, I was basically responsible for keeping track of all the company's assets. So that means their telephones, their cell phones, their computers, their laptops, all the servers, all that kind of stuff. They had probably about a thousand employees and they were spread across seven different branches all over Canada. So in order to make sure that the company knew where all of its different equipment was, it was really important to have this asset database up to date all the time so they could know where things were. So essentially it was my responsibility to make sure that whenever an asset moved from one branch to another branch, I would track that in the database. Or if one person maybe broke their cell phone and sent it back to us and got a replacement, then it would be my responsibility to make sure that it's updated in the database. Now, I think this position in particular was really helpful in getting an actuarial job because it was really my first exposure to using big databases. Prior to that, I had really not a great understanding about what a database was and how it worked, but this allowed me to really be able to use one. It showed me how to collect data. Data collection isn't always done manually or input manually. There are a lot of automated ways that you can get data and put it into a database. And I also think it taught me a lot about cleaning data. When you have huge, huge data sets, it's very unlikely that all the data is going to be 100% correct. Especially if data is entered manually, you'll find errors in there. Humans make errors when they enter information into a computer or to, into anything. So as someone managing a database, you really have to be able to look into those different discrepancies or just know how you can go about finding those things that don't quite look right so that you can fix them or dig into them deeper. This is something that you will most likely have to do in actuarial work as well. And it's something that definitely benefited me when I went into my first actuarial job and even in my internships as well. Along with all that, this position was really my first experience in the corporate world. Prior to that, I had worked for my dad's business, but it's only a small family owned business. There's like just me and my dad working in the company. So it wasn't really the corporate environment that you get when you're working in an actuarial role. So I would say this position really helped me get familiar and comfortable with what it's like working in an office environment where you're working with hundreds of other people and on teams and everyone has different responsibilities that are very specific. Again, it also gave me the opportunity to practice my communication skills. I was doing a lot of emailing. I was also on the phone a lot, getting more and more comfortable with that. So I think this was really beneficial in being able to get an actuarial internship later on because they didn't have to worry about me learning the actuarial stuff on top of also learning what it's like to work in a corporate environment. I already had the corporate environment worked out and now I could just focus on the actuarial stuff. In addition, one other thing that made this really beneficial was that it was actually in an insurance company. So I was tracking all these assets within an insurance company. So that gave me some background knowledge in insurance and how it works.
works. In this particular position, I really didn't need to know a lot about insurance, but just the fact that I was working in an insurance company allowed me to just gather some of that information as I performed my day-to-day -day duties. And again, if you have watched other videos on this channel, you'll know how important it is to kind of have a good understanding of actuarial terms and concepts and insurance terms and concepts and those kind of things in order to get an actuarial job because that's something that a lot of future actuaries don't really build up. They don't build up that knowledge of how these concepts really work and it's something that can really help you stand out. Um, if you are a member of the AAC or decide to become one this week, then you will get access to our whole terms and concepts library where you can really learn about all these different things in depth. And that'll be especially helpful if you are someone that has never worked in an insurance company and really doesn't have that exposure on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, like I suggested earlier, this position really was most beneficial because I was getting so much exposure to different databases and really how data is collected and interpreted. So if you are curious about how actuaries use data, then I really encourage you to go watch this video next, which I will also link down below so that you can learn all about the process that actuaries have to go to collect data, where they get it all from, and how they really use it in their day-to-day -day lives. That is all for this video. I will see you in a couple of weeks. Bye for now.